We are not napping today. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's day in the life vlog. So today's actually Sunday um, and it's just me and little Penny girl here. So Darcy has gone on a dog walk with um, my sisters for her birthday but we've actually got football today with Ollie um, but the games are split up. So there is a game this morning which Ollie's not playing but he's just gone with Tom because obviously Tom um, coaches the team. So he's gone there and I was going to go but I said to Tom what I'll do because the matches don't kick off until this afternoon I thought let me stay at home I can get ready put Penny down for a nap so that she's not grumpy this afternoon because she's missed her nap so yeah that is the plan so it's currently um, about quarter past ten so I'm feeling very put together um, obviously in most of my other vlogs you see me and I've just done the school run looking very much um, a bit dishevelled so today I thought I've washed my hair Put a little bit of makeup on and I thought we would have a lovely cozy November Sunday so I was actually just looking out of the Velux windows um I'll see if I can spin the camera it's so bright so I don't know um if it will do it justice but the leaves on the trees are so pretty um I just love this time of year when you can just see all the different colors it's my favorite I probably would have really loved to have got, gone um on this dog walk but um it just so happened that Ollie has got quite a busy day today with football so um it didn't work out but we can always go again so let me flip the camera around so I really hope I can show you um the lead I just love the view from this window like honestly this never ever ever gets um old to me I just the first thing I do um when I look I'm just gonna zoom you in the first thing I do when I wake up is I just look at outside and today just happens to be a lovely lovely autumnal day it's very fresh out there don't get me wrong um oh, we're gonna be very zoomed in now you don't need to be that zoomed in on my face do you let's go back out let's go back out um yeah it's i'm gonna need to wrap up for football um but there's something about i was actually saying to um my mother-in-law that my favorite like winter and because we've had like a bit of a week of really gray rainy and it does really affect your mood like i i'd said i just feel not myself but today i've woken up it's sunny it's lovely just looking at the blue sky and feeling the sun on your skin you just can't get any better than that but i have got an exciting um package to show you i can't actually wait where is it let's have a look it's over here i actually um took it out of the bit it came in quite a big box um and i took it out and i was actually blown away um so i thought i would share that with you first of all and share with you my little Christmas throw so I actually got this from Asda it's um part of the Stacey Solomon home range it was 20 pounds so I thought because you know how obsessed I am with my Dunelm bedding like in any of my cleaning videos I just I if it's bed washed I have to literally wash and dry it in one day so I can put it back on so I thought you know I'm not going to do Christmas bedding but obviously we've got the cozy lights up I'm going to obviously Christmas the bedside tables up a bit you know get some trees get some um I've got a new snow globe I want to put out but I thought if I put this here and I've ordered two lovely cushions from the same range which I'm picking up on Tuesday so I can't wait to show those with you I thought that is just enough Christmas for me in the bedroom the kids will have their Christmas bedding on but I thought um for our room this is just an absolute vibe and I made Tom bring all the Christmas decorations home so we are going to put the decorations up early this year but yeah i am gonna show you what i got from abbott lion i am so excited um and yeah i hope you enjoy and um you 
take a look and love it as much as I do. Okay guys, I've put you on the tripod so that I have both my hands free so I can show you this month's pick from Abbott Lion. So again, thank you so much Abbott Lion for allowing me to choose an item so that I can share with my followers. So um, this item I have been very kindly gifted, which absolutely blows my mind still if I'm, <laughs> if I'm actually being totally honest. Um, and yeah, I took my time choosing the item um, that I'm about to share with you today. So I think I mentioned this in my last video. I am on a bracelet bangle hype at the moment. I don't know what it is. Ever since my sister's wedding, I've just really loved having um, like bracelets on my wrist. I just think it looks so feminine and so pretty. Um, so yeah, that I showed you last month the item that I picked. So this month I am very excited to show you. So we've got the beautiful packaging. This isn't the gift wrap packaging. You do have the option on the website. So if this is a present for somebody or you just want to wrap it up for yourself, you do have the option to have it gift wrapped. But nevertheless, it comes in the most stunning packaging. Um, and the even better, it's made from completely recycled materials and so you can recycle it also. So let's get in to the item. So in the box this month, I have chosen the Crystal Heart Bangle and oh, I am absolutely obsessed. I know I said this last month, but this, I've already put it on and it looks oh, so, so stunning. So in the box, this is the bangle. I'm going to get it out in a second so I can show you. So I went with the gold option. They do also have this in silver and rose gold. So depending on your preference of material, um, you can select, you know, whichever you prefer. So I went with the gold option and I, you've got two sizes to choose from, small to medium or medium to large. I went with the small to medium, but just look at the detail on that. So it has cubic zirconian diamonds inside of the hearts. So I'm gonna, let me just flip the camera and I will give you a close up of the actual bangle itself. Okay, so the bangle itself is made from 18 karat gold plated brass. And as I said, the stones are clear cubic zirconian stones. So if you can see there, inside of each of the little hearts there is a beautiful stone the width of the actual bangle is four millimeters so it isn't thin it's a lovely size and still looks really feminine and pretty um, it's a lovely perfect size to fit on your wrist and the thing I like about this if I just show you and pop it on when it's on because of the shape of it um, because I've had ones in the past that have been um, perfectly rounded and they tend to not sit very well um, once you have them on your wrist with this one because of the shape of it it's more like an oval shape it just falls perfectly on your wrist so if you can see there and what I love, I did mention this in my last video, is I love to stack the bracelets So this. I really love this look at the moment and I just feel like it looks absolutely stunning with my other two um, bracelets. So I've been wanting a bangle for a while and I was so happy that this one was in stock for me to select. Um, I just think it looks lovely and yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. just so stunning isn't it I absolutely I love it so much it's one of my most favorite pieces actually today we're we're all in the Abbott line today I've got my um name necklace on you would have seen this in my other videos because I've had this um my parents got me this one for Christmas last year so yeah I do actually have a direct link for the bangle which I will leave in the description box but their website has so much choice on it um the bracelet itself retails for 69 pounds um, which I think is so, so affordable, such a great price point. Um, and like with all their pieces on their website, they're made with the most highest quality plating. Um, so it means 
it's sweat proof, it's water resistant, it's not gonna tarnish, and it comes with a two year warranty. So you know, when you shop on their website, you have that peace of mind. So yeah, this month's pick, absolutely obsessed, cannot say enough good things about it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna add this to my little collection now on my wrist. So thank you, Abbott Lion, for allowing me to pick um, an item this month. I really, really appreciate it. Check the description box below. I will leave the link to the bangle um, and then obviously you can, that will take you directly to this bangle. It will allow you then to select which size you would like and then you can flick through the two other different types of metal. So either gold, rose gold or silver. Okay, so we're having breakfast on the go because um, I have actually put Penny back down in her bed, I think about nine times at this point. I don't know what's wrong with her today. She has been so good going down for her naps. I remember saying in last week's vlog, um, I think we've turned a corner with her sleep. Don't get me wrong, she does still come up to our bedroom. So she will go to bed absolutely fine. Um, but at some point during the night, she will come to our room and get in our bed. But I'm gonna take you downstairs in a second once I know she's actually asleep because um, the stairs are so creaky coming up into the loft. Um, so I feel, and because her bedroom door is literally there um, and the stairs are here, um, I just feel like she thinks, oh, mum is around, let's get up, it's playtime. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take you downstairs because we now have spindles on the landing. Um, so like in our uh, just upstairs bit, so it's not obviously open, looks amazing and Tom has, um, pretty much painted all of the white that was above the panelling and he's finished downstairs that is completely painted with the exception of the skirt in which he says he's sanding down and undercoating after football so we will see if that happens um, but yeah such a lovely day it looks very windy actually I'm watching the tree over there but the leaves are kind of like blowing off so it is pretty so I'm gonna have to wrap up warm I probably have to put a hat on which that's the only thing about this year I love hat season but I feel like you have to wash your hair more because obviously it's like enclosed hot. So I find it goes a bit greasy um, a lot quicker than if we're just wearing it down. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's check the camera and see if little Penny Girl is asleep. She's not quite asleep yet. She's got her Moana doll <laughs> in the bed next to her. Oh, she's so cute. Um, yeah, so when we get back from football, um, we've bought some bigger storage boxes from Aldi, which I'll show you, because um, they were on offer for £17. And um, Tom literally has all the Christmas stuff. He brought it all in out of his van, because we were just using, um, odd, when I go downstairs, I'll show you, because I've got a couple of empty ones. I've transferred the Halloween stuff over. But we were using just plastic, um, like clear plastic boxes that were about this wide. Um, and they kind of, it's not a dramatic um, size difference between the top and the bottom, but they do kind of like taper in like this. So obviously you're not getting as much space at the bottom as you do at the top, so it's quite hard to stack things. Um, so yeah, we've bought these like giant black storage cases on wheels. So I said to Tom, that'll be perfect because we can probably cut down the amount of boxes we've got, because obviously these boxes are huge. Um, so when we go to our storage container, I open the door and I'm like, wow. <laughs> was that all in our loft and obviously because our bedroom is now in the loft we have nowhere at home for storage i said to tom it would be ideal really if we had a garage but um yeah it's just not happening at this house we don't have like any other land or anything so that is the only drawback with doing the loft We've, we don't have any storage but it does mean that i've got my christmas stuff here literally downstairs in the utility so I'm thinking I can probably, probably talk Tom into let me put the Christmas decorations up like way earlier than we would usually do it. Usually I do it on the first weekend of December, but you know, I'm feeling like it needs to go up in November. The throw is staying on the bed um, and I can't wait to pick my pillows up on Tuesday uh, because yeah, I'm just fully ready to get in the, the Christmas spirit. I mean, I feel like I'm not organized in terms of what the kids are having so i'm really trying to get everything um for their stocking so i've actually got a bag down here with what i've got ollie so far darcy's is pretty much done penny just needs a couple more little bits and ollie's the one i'm struggling with because i don't feel like they've got like a great choice for boys when i go into b m and things like that they've got like a playstation playstation section but i feel like there's more on the xbox little section than there is in the PlayStation section. I don't know. Um, so I really, really need to 
think about what I'm going to get him. I have found a word search book on Amazon which is football related um, so I'm going to get him that and then last year my mum got me, um, I'm such like an arts and crafty person so my mum fully got me like a colouring, a colouring in case and a scratch art you know like there it's like a black foil when you scratch it off and it reveals the picture anyway ollie absolutely loved it and kept asking for some of my pictures but i feel like mine were quite um like intricate so very very detailed so you had to have like a really really like steady hand and the lines were small so i feel like you can get kids one so i'm on the hunt to get one of those because i know he'll love that um, but other than that, I really want to share stockings earlier this year. I say this every year, but I'm going to be organised this year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to have my breakfast. So I've got the shake again. Love it. It's so much thicker now. I've been adding the scoop of protein powder in it. But I feel like I'm not as hungry. So I'm not snacking between having this and my lunch. So yeah, and obviously I'm still taking the balanced tonic from Real in there. Um, I always leave that in the linked in the description. I mention on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's always linked in the description of my YouTube. Um, but I did mention on there that I bought this powder mainly to help with my periods and um, uh, like. I don't know how to put this without it being TMI. Um, but after having Penny, so she, if you're new here, she's my third baby. And um, when my periods came back um, after having her, they were awful, um, like painful, really heavy, like to the point of I wouldn't be able to move around very much because you know if you know you know um and i wasn't on anything when i spoke to the doctor about it they just kind of like were pushing like the contraceptive pill that sort of thing and i haven't been on um any pill anything like that so there's no hormone in my body i had the coil taken out when i got married when we wanted to start trying to get pregnant for darcy um and i've not been on anything since and i just like the fact that my periods are regular i know when they're coming but I just couldn't deal with the painful side of things. So anyway, long story short, I saw this um, like balance powder, which helps balance um, like your hormones, that sort of thing, from a company called Real. Um, I pop it in my smoothie because I've tried to have it just in water and I find it quite hard to drink. So if you are gonna get it, I recommend having it in a smoothie or like a yogurt, or if you've got like breakfast, if you're gonna do um, like a breakfast smoothie pot, that would be really lovely to mix it in with that. Um, but basically, long story short, it's my fourth month now of like, so my fourth cycle, and I have not had to take any medication in terms of pain relief. So I would, for two days straight, I would be um, paracetamol and ibuprofen, like religiously every four hours because it was that bad, the pain was that bad. And I feel like I've got quite a high pain threshold, but no pain relief, not even on day one when it first comes, nothing. And it's not been anywhere near as heavy and so obviously I've not had any leaks or anything like that so I do highly recommend this and I feel like my mood has been a lot better because I've spoken um, a lot about with my struggles especially after um, my like PTSD following birth and my mental health it's been a whole journey if you've been here you know it's been a whole journey so this I feel like has really really helped me it's not sponsored in any way I buy this I've got actually a subscription so for the first month I just bought a pot um and now it's just on subscription so I have it come I think I do it every um two months because I a pot will last me two months um yeah highly recommend it so if I can recommend something that I know works I definitely will do that so yeah I'm gonna have my shake um and then I'm just gonna do just potter around really until we need to leave for football so um I'll probably pop back on um when we're leaving for football we'll pack the bag we'll pack a football mum bag take our snacks snacks are an absolute must and yeah ready for the football mum life every Sunday last weekend it was Friday night Saturday morning and Sunday so this weekend I've had it easy I feel like cause it is just Sunday <laughs> Breakfast? Breakfast? Oh, you want some of mummy's breakfast? Oh, okay. So apparently we are not napping today. So I think I'm just going to get her dressed um, and yeah, just take her downstairs. But what have you got Moana in your bed? Moana! Oh, are you putting her? We've brought her little crib, um, her little dolly crib up to her bedroom so um yeah she's just gonna put moana to bed so let's penny let's pick out some clothes for you to wear shall we darling yeah yeah 
What should we wear today? We need something that's going to keep you nice and toasty warm, don't we? Yeah, okay, darling. Oh, sweet baby dress. Baby dress, yeah. You're going to get your baby dress to you? Darcy's gone on a walk, hasn't she? Huh? I might just put this on you now. I'm hoping these leggings still fit. Come here, darling. Let's get dressed. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're just going to go with um, comfy clothes today because we're going to take her scooter and her baby buggy so she can run around and have fun um so yeah i'm just gonna pop this little navy zara jumper on her and these little leggings she's had such a growth spurt like i feel like nothing fits her um when i went to primark the other day i did get a cute pack of leggings and i got them in two to three and then i've put them on her and they don't fit so i was like that is typical <gasps> what are you doing to clifford um yeah so we'll do this downstairs i'm going to show you actually the um progress out here so what are you two little rascals doing what are you doing hello clifford so up here needs um excuse that we are swapping it for a white one uh this needs this has had one coat so thomas sanded and filled you know all the good stuff um but obviously all of the gloss work like the architraves and the skirting none of that has been touched but we do have um the hand rail and the spindle back up i feel like it looks so good um it, we were literally without anything there for a year so i'm really happy this is back up and then thomas just first coated this little bit here oh it's not showing you it is white the there you go so we need to obviously fill in all the like pinholes from the nail gun um and then this bit here will be boarded up to here oh can't see can you um yeah we'll be boarded up to there and then obviously these treads here just as it winds around will be individually boxed in as will these ones here so it's getting there um i can't wait for obviously all of this to be painted we have enough spindles um from the so obviously prior to the loft being done this hammer went all the way to the wall so we've got enough spindles to finish this little bit but we don't have enough handrail so tom is in the process of ordering that and we ran out of the beading so he miscalculated um the beading there so yeah we need to order that before we can get this done but just look at this light that pours through this window i love it um so yeah we're on track i've just said i want it all done for christmas so that the house doesn't feel like a building site that is the goal and then it's time to tackle the bathroom that i'm about to go and close the door on because i absolutely can't look in there anymore you know when you just have those rooms that just trigger you the bathroom is that for me i know it might sound like a little dramatic and i know there's uh, way important things going on in the world than um emma moaning about her bathroom but the shower is awful sorry penelope should we go downstairs should we go and see if the log burner's still lit come on darling yeah the shower is awful um and it just like trickles out and now we've got a smart meter i can obviously monitor um oh that is brilliant singing darling i can monitor the usage and it's crazy so we've got a new one um but we can't fit it in the place where the current shower is so that one cannot be fitted until we redo um the bathroom so i just gotta put up with it but it is what it is i mean we've had it for this long you're gonna see Bella. I know you are. Would you like me to put the TV on a second? Pardon? TV, yeah. Um, sorry, the TV won't turn on there. Yeah, so it just is what it is. But you know, we all have, we all have those things going on, don't we? What would Penny like to watch? Yeah. Turbo. You want to watch the snail? Yeah. Snail. Yeah. Is he a fast snail? Is the tur is Turbo a fast snail? Does he does he go really fast on the racetrack? Wow. Ah, oh, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, hello, Clifford. My sister has um, given him a few chew roots because her dogs don't use them, so he's absolutely just loving life at the moment. Um, yeah, I always make sure he's got like nice stuff back. Because obviously, when we're at football, I just don't like him being at home bored. But yeah, let me show you the hallway. I feel like it looks so much better now it's like the coats have all been done so again ignore the skirting because you will see like traces of 
um, the Egyptian cotton on there. He hasn't done the skirting, but how nice does that look? That and then, hi. We've got the mirror back up. So I'm not changing any of this because I really like it. Um, I got that from Dunelm, I think about a year ago, and then my home since lab. I feel like it just ties in really lovely. But you'll notice all the autumn decor is gone. It's just fully gone. We're ready for Christmas over here. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna keep all this as is. I feel like it just all looks really nice together. Um, and obviously the floor, we're not doing anything with that because um, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but yeah. Oh, Penelope, that is loud. Let's lower this down a little bit. Um, yeah, so I am just going to get Penny dressed and then um, I will catch up with you when we're either going to football or just before we go and we'll load the bag up together. Okay, so I have just put some trousers on because I just have my um, like loungewear bottoms on. So I'm literally just wearing everything, everything black today, just really comfy. So I'm just going to show you what I put in the bag really. So I'm just taking the nappy bag. Um, just for obvious reasons, in case we need to do any nappy changes. So I've got her hat in there, because like I said um, earlier, it is quite windy. Um, it should be okay, but um, I've just got some crisps. I love these ones from Aldi. And then I've just got some um, little peanuts and just a tiny bowl. These are for me, not Penny. I've got to take snacks for me. <laughs> um, and then for Penny, I've just taken her a pack of the Melty Sticks. She likes to share these with her little friends that she plays with at football. Um, and then I've got her just a little mini pack of chocolate fingers. And then my child, honestly, she is absolutely obsessed with Twiglets. Obviously, she just follows her mum because so am I. So I've just put a few in this little pot here. I'm just putting that in. Then I've got a couple of um, little cloths because obviously she skipped her nap. So your boot, I'll put them on now. And then I've just done her um, drink. And then I'm going to get your boots now, darling. I'm going to take an iced coffee for me. I've been getting these in Asda. They were scanning for 125. So, yeah, vanilla flavour is, if you've not ever tried it, you need to try it. It's amazing. Um, and then we'll zip this up. Let's put your hat in, actually. Do I wear a hat or don't I? Again, I don't know what coat to wear because um, I might just take my thick one, you know, because it's fine. Last time we went, it was meant to be cold, but it ended up being so warm. Um, right, let's get your boots ready, Penelope Margo. Sit down. That one's on the wrong foot, darling. Where's your other boot? Oh, is it in the basket? Let's switch our feet over. Sit down. She's wearing her little Doc Martens. I've got them all vintage. How cute are they? Um, right, put this foot in. I think your other one might be in the shoe basket because we took them off quickly last night when we saw the fireworks, didn't we? We Did we see the bang bangs in the sky? Oh, they were so pretty, weren't they? Yeah! Hang on, hang on. Now oh, there it is. And mother's shoes are in here as well. That's a good job. Sit down then. Put something to stare. Good girl. Right, this foot. And then we'll see how beautiful you look, yeah? Like, honestly, the cutest thing. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, Penelope. You look so lovely. Can I see your boot? Oh, beautiful. Now, Mummy's going to get her shoes on, and then we'll get in the car. So, it isn't supposed to rain, so I thought I would pop um, my new H&M coat on. I love this. Um, yeah, I just, it's really cosy, and obviously, it's just perfectly, like, length that covers my bum. Just what I like, and it just breaks up the black because I fully am dressed in black. I've got my like wide leg black trousers on, <laughs> platform converse, and then just this really lovely knitted top. I got um, all of my jumpers back out of the um, but I literally transfer everything over for seasons just because I haven't got like a huge amount of hanging space. So I got all of my um, like winter jumpers out, and I just feel like I love it. I just love more like like wardrobe staples um but yeah this is football mum life so we are off to football <laughs> Okay, so we're done with football now. Um, 
I didn't film any clips there just because it's really, really busy. But um, yeah, Ollie had a really great game. Take my coat off, I'm really hot. I'm gonna go home, aren't we, Penny? Come back. Come back. Pardon? Come back. Chocolate? Yeah. Where? Yeah. In my coat? Coat. It's okay, you've got your dummy there. I'm hoping that she will drift off to sleep. Oh, okay, on the way home. Um, because obviously she didn't have a nap earlier. So yeah, I'm gonna get home and then I'll catch up with you um, once we're at home. So no rest for the wicked hair. So I'm just putting my shoes on. We're off out to take Clifford on a walk. <laughs> what are you going on? A bike. Yeah. He's got his um, helmet, protective gear. I wish I had like that thingy that you can Oh, the visor? Yeah. Yeah, I think they use that in like motocross or something. Oh, here comes an exciting clipper. I've got nine gold for the Yeah. You've got eight, haven't you? Oh, yeah, eight. Eight. Three assists. Yeah, Alfie's finished. Very good game, didn't you? Right, let me put my coat on then. I'm definitely going to move it on the coat now. Get your cover. I might have my new football coat for next week. Huh? I might have my football coat for next week. Yeah. Clearly. Yep. It looks like Clifford's never been out of the house before. Oh, you can't take your chew reaper. Oh, look at her. Stop, don't move. You have to see Penny. Have you got the keys? Huh? See you in a minute, Dars. Okay, you have to see Penny, it's the cutest thing. <laughs> Where are you going? Where? Where is Penny going? Mommy, is that from this bit back here? Is that any hair from there? No, you look, that's very good, babe. Good job. <laughs> good, say good job, Olive. You lost that then, boy. Drop a drop. Oh. He, he runs past it, doesn't he? And it was good boy. Yes, Penelope. What is it? Park, please. Oh. Oh, thanks. So this is a good test because it's firework night, um, but he doesn't seem to be that worried about the fireworks. He's actually just more, look at him with his ball. That's all he can. Um, yeah, we've obviously just had like the TV on and that for the past couple of nights. And he hasn't really seemed to be that bothered, whereas our other dog Ronnie was really scared, wasn't he Tom? But he's just, he just dumped bat an eyelid. I feel like he's just a happy soul. You know, like when you look at a dog and they've got like a really dopey looking face. <laughs> I feel like that's Clifford. And Ollie, we've just like had a whole morning of football and afternoon and he's now going in the football courts to play some more football. Obviously a whole Sunday playing football is just not enough. Okay, so we're all home now. That was a lovely little walk, but it got quite dark so quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here because we're now about to head into the chaos. That is the evening routine. And I've just remembered I've got to do the ironing because it's back to school tomorrow. So love that for me. Um, I'm about to go and tackle it. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this day in the life vlog. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me here on my YouTube channel. We've just hit 6,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody who has already subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.